hello students today in this video you will come to know about the adverbs of comparison that how we can do this so first of all as i already have explained you about the adverbs and today i want to explain you adverbs of comparison so in this topic uh, today you will read about the positive comparative and superlative degree of adverbs so now you can see here that some sentences are given as examples and you can also check the highlighted words as i'm going to speak rahul spoke more clearly than vivek and the next sentence navin spoke the most clearly so students as you are seeing here that the highlighted words are adverbs of comparison so how we will come to know that these are the adverbs of comparison so students in your first sentence more clearly is an adverb of comparative degree means to say we compared the two things two person okay it's all about the difference and it's all about the comparison between two things and in the second sentence most clearly is an adverb of superlative degree so i'll just explain you that how you will find the superlative degree comparative degree and positive degree so now you can see here points to remember first is for adverbs of a single word we form the comparative by adding er and superlative by adding est for example i have to say that she is a tall girl so now this is positive if i'm just saying here that this is a positive degree but in a next if i have to use a comparative degree then i'll say that she is taller than rita now what i did here i just compare a girl with another girl and her name was neha rita whatever you want to use so that was a comparative so how it was comparative because now i'm using the word taller instead to use the word tall because i just shown here the comparison between two girls okay about their height in the next we have superlative degree so if the same sentence i'm using for the superlative degree so i'll just say that she is the tallest girl in the class or i can also say that she is the tallest among all the girls so this is the example of a superlative when we use est so the example is very clear ke maine ab like same girl who is a tall to maine use comparison jo first pe hai i am just giving a positive but in a second i am using a comparative degree jisme main usi girl ko ek aur girl ke sath comparison kar rahi hu uski height ka so that is comparative degree but in a last i am using a superlative degree because i just want to show somebody that the same girl jo girl tall hai if i have to compare the height of that girl with another so that would be a superlative agar main use whole class ke sath jo hai wo compare karti hu that she is tallest girl now i just have told that ke main us girl ko jo hai jo uski height hai usko pure whole class ke sath usko compare kar rahi hu so that's why i'm using here the word tallest so it's a superlative tall taller tallest when we have to use a positive so we will use tall when we will just compare two things two person 
like i'm just uh, giving example of the girl then we can say that it's all about the person so we can uh, say here dollar and in the last that is a superlative degree so for that i'll just say there the word tallest so students as you are seeing here uh, the positive comparative superlative high higher highest so you can also see the same uh, words that we already have used in a positive comparative and superlative so next we have the points to remember with adverbs of two or more we form the comparative and superlative degrees by adding more and more before the positive form how for example we have to use really more really most really so this is the example when we have to use the word more and most before the positive form so next we have we do not follow any rules to form the comparative and superlative degree for irregular adverbs for example for a positive little comparative less superlative least so these kinds of adverbs you have to learn so students i'll just give you only one or two sentences examples so that you can come to know that how we will do this for example uh, fill in the blank uh, with the proper adverbs and one already has been done for you so ravi draws neatly krish draws uh after that there is a fill up but larry draws then again fill up now i'm saying that ravi draws neatly firstly maine ravi ke bare mein jo hai wo main aapko explain kar rahi hu that draws neatly he draws neatly but after that i just compared ravi with another person so that is krish so i'll say that ravi draws neatly krish draws more neatly because first of all i just have explained only about the ravi that uh, he draws neatly but jab mujhe compare karna pada that uh, one of them is too good to main compare karne ke liye i am using their more neatly but larry draws most neatly ab dono ko compare kiya that was why i was using their more neatly but now if i'm saying that i have to uh, you know compare the person with the uh, more than two then i can say that more neatly matlab uski bahut zyada hai so it would be most neatly first would be more neatly then most neatly so we are just uh, saying here that when we have to compare more than two the next is the sun is shining brightly today which was shining uh then fill up then yesterday so we are just saying here that the sun is shining brightly today but it was shining ab hum bata rahe hain that it was shining more brightly yesterday okay yesterday more brightly tha so that was the example of your first In the next, you have to complete, uh, you know, the sentences while using your adverbs. In a, that is already have given you in examples. So, for example, you have to say that Alia walks Philip. Now uh, we are talking about a single person. हम एक ही person के बारे में बात करना चाहते हैं. So we will use here positive degree because we are not going to compare the two person. तो मैं सिर्फ एक person के बारे में बात कर रही हूँ. That's why I'm saying here that Alia. walks gracefully the next is we can say that fill in the blank with the correct adverbs from the box one has been done for you for example we have to say about the chita okay so chita runs the fill up of all the animals so we know we are just uh, uh, trying to compare with another animals with all the animals so we will say here fastest we will not say here faster because it's all about the category of the animals the next we have to uh, rewrite the sentences correctly so one is already has done for you the same example i just have given you uh, right so you can say meeta swims as gracefully than her uh, than her mother so we just have compared meeta 
okay swims as gracefully than her mother so we compared uh, meeta swims with the, her mother so if we have to say that meeta swims more gracefully than her mother so we uh, just have explained there that meeta swims more gracefully okay not a mother so for that we can uh, use these kinds of uh, uh, comparison or we can say these are the comparison word that we can use in our adverbs so students that was a video of your adverbs of comparison i hope so that all your doubts would be clear with this video